turn a fresh cut tree into a dry wood vase without it cracking? You betcha. But let's tell the story of creating a small wood drying kiln with kitty litter and then show those test results. A couple of months ago, I stumbled upon a free tree stump sitting by the side of the road. It was freshly cut, but I wanted to try and make a larger flower vase out of it. I made some initial trim cuts and then started to turn a thick, rough vase blank on the lathe. The problem is freshly cut wood likes to twist, deform, and split as it dries, making it a bad candidate for turning a bowl or a vase. So this experiment will take a green piece of wood with an initial rough turning on the lathe and then try to accelerate the drying process without it cracking before final finishing. Drying fresh cut lumber in the open air can take a year or more. Traditional wood kilns use heated air or dehumidifiers to accelerate the drying process, but I just don't have one. For smaller wood pieces, some have tried using the microwave drying method, but with cracking results if the wood gets too hot. That and my vase didn't really fit on the inside turntable. Other drying methods have included using commercial silica gel, but surprise, surprise, some kitty litter is made entirely of non-toxic silica gel too, and it's cheaper per pound. I don't know if it's as much fun as watching water boil, grass grow, or paint peel, but hey, let's watch some wood dry. With that backstory in mind, here's what we did. To help prevent cracking on the end grain, I brushed on a product called Pentacryl, which seems to do crazy things to wood to stabilize the wood fiber. This thin tree round was fresh cut and treated two years ago. No cracks, no splits. Next, we'll need an airtight container big enough to hold the wood to be dried. I could have used the plastic storage bin, but would have needed to tape all the seams shut in order to make it airtight. A standard five gallon paint bucket with a rubber gasket lid is the ticket here. Let's take some initial readings before starting the drying process. Our green wood vase will start at 22% moisture content and 2408 grams. Let's run through a little video montage as we check our progress from week to week. After the fourth week, I decided to bake the moisture out of the kitty litter, also called recharging the silica gel. I'm sure the silica still had plenty of capacity to absorb moisture, but just making sure. The oven has to be kept under 300 degrees so that you don't damage the silica. And then after a cool down, it was okay to add back to the bucket and continue the drying process.
So within that span of time, if I run the math on this, I think between 2408 and 2092, that's not quite 15% of its total weight, which was absorbed by that kitty litter. So I'm gonna let it sit a little bit longer and see where we go. Doing a rough turning like this really does help the green wood dry faster, but it is a warp. So on this side, the calipers go through. If I turn it, they get stuck. Because of that, this will be a little challenging to get back on the lathe because it's this out of round, but that's why I left the sides this thick. And finally, the wood did what I thought it was gonna do, and that is just gain weight from the humidity inside the house. So could actually gain another six grams just from absorbing moisture. So whether we're talking about a freshly cut chunk of tree found by the side of the road, or even a block of wood that you paid for that was supposed to be kiln dried, this is a simple and handy drying method that doesn't cost a whole lot to use. Best of all, the silica gel can be used over and over again with that oven recharging. Using silica gel is gonna be harder if you wanna dry large pieces of lumber or slabs, but for wood blocks that we wanna turn on the lathe, Perfect. In summary, I loved this experiment and the results I got with the Silica Kitty Litter. Simple, cheap, effective, and great results in six to seven weeks. Things that weren't great, you can't prevent the wood from shrinking and twisting with any drying method, and the finished vase will need another turning to make it round. Hey everybody, thanks very much for watching. Hope you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment too. Take care.